Our Better Business Bureau is on all the time looking out for frauds and scams in our area. Susan Bolin is the Vice President of Business Relations for the BBB, and she's here with a word of caution about phishing scams that starts with a P. Good morning. Good morning. So explain to all of us what a phishing scam is. Right. Well, phishing scams may present themselves in many different ways, and they're kind of a starting point for a lot of different scams. But just as kind of a general description or definition, um, phishing is a scam tactic that's used by fraudsters to trick consumers and businesses into revealing sensitive information about themselves or their company. It may also be used to encourage clicking on harmful links, visiting malicious websites, uh, or taking actions that an individual normally wouldn't take without authorized approval um, that would further a scam. For information from our newest phishing scam study, um, complaints to BBB in 2023 nearly doubled. And now we are seeing even the reports are continuing to rise. So we know that phishing is still very prevalent and, and on the move. So Susan, what, are we talking about all forms of communication, text, phone, email, mail? Yes, yeah. So phishing may start with nearly any form of communication. Like you mentioned, phone, text, email. You may even get a letter in the mail. And the sender may impersonate um, a well-known company, a government organization, social media platform, or bank. For a business, they may also impersonate vendors that they commonly use or in-house um, executives to get employees' attention. From here, messages um, may talk about a problem, um, you know, suspect activity or a problem with accounts or for businesses there may be impersonation of a human resource representative or IT professional or supervisor again um, they may then ask you for that sensitive information or to click on a link that could download malware and allow access to your device if they can get into your device they may then be able to get to banking information, hack your social media accounts, um, you know, access sensitive financial data, uh, all harmful things. And then finally, we have even heard from employees that received correspondence that looked like it was requesting payment coming from a supervisor that later they find out is actually an imposter. So really something to be careful of because they're very harmful scams. Well, Susan, uh, help us understand what we need to be looking out for specifically so we don't become victim to phishing scams. Right, right. So it's helpful to look at your correspondence very carefully and um, consider what is being requested. Scammers may take guesses at personal details, such as that you have a social media account or that you've made a recent online purchase. Things that are very common for people, but they're looking to build your trust in that conversation to further their scam. You're going to want to watch out for odd email domains and links that may lead you to harmful malware. Be wary of urgent requests or appeals for sensitive information. Don't be swayed by logos that look very real or letterhead. They may have been stolen. And when at all possible, verify important requests and issues that are brought to your attention with their original source. So Susan, can our viewers access more of that helpful information on your website? Absolutely. They can go to bbb.org forward slash scam studies, and they can actually see the full um, phishing scam study that is available with examples and tips and all kinds of good information. And then if they have additional questions about something that they have encountered and would like to talk to us further, they certainly can call our office here. Thank you so much, Susan Bolin. Thank you.